This is our Glotron radiative base for neon devices. It'll also work for argon, xenon, any gases that illuminate in an energy field. Uh, it also works with spectrum tubes. It's powered by a 12 volts DC input and it comes with a wall adapter. You could also run this from a 12 volt battery. So you just put your item on top of the Glotron and turn it on and it lights up. I'll turn off the light so you can see a little bit better. So if you put in a little carbonated beverage, place it on top of the glow truck. It looks pretty cool. response to touch. You put your finger in the water and you get a little bit of a different effect there. The Glowtron will light up any small neon glassware for a nice display. And you don't need to hook up any wires as you can see. It illuminates from the energy field so you just put the glassware on top of the Glowtron and it lights right up. And just to give you some reference here this will light up any neon glasswork. It's a smaller power supply and it's not direct wire connection so some of the larger pieces might not fully illuminate. This is doing a pretty good job getting the entire the entire piece illuminated. Oh, it's working pretty good on this one too. By itself it might not have a complete output if you use your if you use your hands to essentially ground out the connections or, or you, you serve as a ground, you're going to get a better effect. But of course you don't want to be standing there with your hands on it all the time. That one lights up pretty well by itself. It's a decent sized piece. And you can see this one is not completely lighting up as well, again, if you use your, you use your hands to act as a ground to get more of it to light up. I'm not sure why this one isn't lighting up as much, because it's smaller than some of the other ones. Maybe it's a little bit farther away. If you touch the ends, I don't know if you can see this with the uh, in the camera, but there's a little spark going to my finger. That's actually, that is a plasma that's forming between the wire connection and my skin, and you can smell it. It's a uh, slight smell of burning flesh, basically. Avoid touching the metal. It doesn't hurt. It's maybe a very slight, you can very slightly feel it. It doesn't hurt, but you don't want to, you know, concern anyone who's, who's around and they start smelling burning flesh and saying, what is that? It's not dangerous, but it might make some people a little uncomfortable. see if it lights up better on that side. Yeah, it's about the same. I think that's just a larger piece so it's hard to get the entire it's a little bit too much neon there to light up. Too much tube length. So again that's to give you the just the understanding that it can be used for anything neon. It's not limited to just this mug, although these mugs are pretty, pretty nice, I must say. Some real craftsmanship went into making that. But any neon piece you have that you want to put on this Glowtron will light up nicely, provided it's not too large, because it's a small power output. But if you've got a, a neon piece that's uh, small enough, it'll, it'll light it up beautifully. And no wire connections needed at all.